So it's the morning time and I'm gonna be putting up a weather station on our roof. So it's a mini weather station that we got the other day and uh, this will allow us to kind of keep track of the weather and get more accurate uh, weather forecasting for uh, the mountain. So um, I'm actually going to be repurposing an old um, Dish Network stand that's up on a roof already, which we no longer need because we have internet at the cabin um, on the homestead. So um, I can either take that off um, and use something different or maybe just use that and uh, you know not have to drill any holes into the roof and go that route. So let me show you. So here is the dish. We're going to be taking the dish off. And it looks like I should be able to uh, mount directly to this with the weather station and uh, only have to remove the dish off of this whole stand. So that'll be sweet. So let me get some tools and I'll unbolt this thing. Uh, we got this on Amazon, and I can link the product description below. And this is just so that we have an accurate read on the weather. We live so far up in the mountains that sometimes the weather channel forecast isn't really accurate. So this way we'll have a more in-depth picture of what to expect. So this is... The weather console and this will be inside and it's Bluetooth to the sensor that will be mounted on the roof. So this is the wireless indoor. Oh, that's not wireless indoor. This, this is the wireless indoor hygrothermo sensor. This is the wireless seven in one outdoor sensor. So this is what we're gonna be mounting on the roof. Hmm, let's see. Oops. So this is the rain collection cup. And then this part would be your UV light center. So if you're in the northern hemisphere, like we are, you want this facing south and this facing north. To set up the rain collector, you just align the notches on the funnel with the lock groove inside the rain collection. tightly so it locks in place. That's just a simple. And then the next step is to insert the battery. So you're gonna need three AAs. Also screws like these really irritate me. And we have a massive shop with all different types of screws, but I can never find little ones like this. So I ordered my own set off of Amazon and I can link this as well. It was like $7 and it has all of the little tiny screws that you could possibly need. Children's toys come with a lot of little screws, so. Okay, now we need to go get batteries. So this is where you're gonna mount it to the pole. Um, you're gonna need screwdrivers to widen this and it is recommended that you place the sensor on a steel pole or post with at least a half an inch diameter and a minimum of two meters off the ground. Um, it does not come with a mounting pole. So you're gonna either have to fabricate one or buy one separately. Um, I think we're just using an existing dish pole that is on our roof and he can unscrew that when he gets up there. Yeah. This also needs a battery, but it comes with it. So I'm getting ready to take the dish off 
All I gotta do is just undo these bolts that are holding on the dish, which is basically like a little clamp. And then I should be able to install this the same exact way, except this has two little bolts, just like a clamp, hold this, this part on. So let's get to it. Here are some of the tools that I'll need. Got a half inch electric like ratchet and um, brought up some uh, roofing uh, sealant just in case I gotta fix anything that route. But it should be pretty simple. It's like right there. It's so close. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna fit with these bolts. So I'm gonna have to uh, find some other uh, screws. Essentially, just little quarter inch screws. But it's so close. I mean, it's like right there. So um, I'm gonna have to go up to the shop real quick. Um, see what I got in my hardware bin but they're pretty generic I just need instead of these look like they're inch and a half go with two inch and that'll solve my dilemma so I went to the shop and found uh, some bolts that were actually the right size so I'm gonna get it all put together now so I originally went and got larger bolts but that pipe that's on the dish network mount is actually just a hair too big for it to you know have a good clamp on it so I went back to our little scrap pile and I found a piece that I cut down which is basically inch and a half pipe that'll sit right inside of this just perfectly so that's the route I'm gonna go I think the original bolts will actually work now rather than the ones that I uh, found in the shop so after much back and forth I think that's that's what I'm gonna do quick metal screw in there so that this thing doesn't turn or shift or anything over time. Um, the rain cup on the top, I'll show you in a second, that faces north and the little UV uh, solar pad here faces south. So you want to make sure that you have that exactly where you want it. There is a little symbol on top and it's got a north for the arrow. So I just used the iPhone and just got it as close as I can. Got it situated, so I'm try it out. So you can see it says north right there. That cup faces north. And then this little solar pad faces south. And then I put a little metal screw in the bottom so that everything stays exactly where we have it. 
Okay, so we've had this on for a couple days now, and I just wanted to point out a few features and some pros and cons about it and how to basically go through everything. So this is your outside temperature. So that's what is coming from the weather station up top. This is your inside temperature, which is coming from the sensor that you put inside and you can install up to seven of these. So your barometric pressure, which is coming from outside and your rain. So rain, you will see it says hourly and you can click this button daily weekly. So we got a little bit of rain uh, the other night. So it's going to accumulate this and then monthly total. Um, your moon phase goes off of your uh, time zone and your sunrise and sunset goes off your latitude and longitude. So I could not figure out how to properly put in the longitude and latitude because it said no negative numbers. So I don't really know how to convert our negative number to a positive number. And therefore that's why we don't have a uh, sunrise and sunset. If anyone knows how to convert a negative longitude latitude number, please let me know in the comments and then maybe I can get this to work. Um, time, date, and then forecast your wind speed, your sun UV, and what it actually feels like outside. So then you can also hit your max and min. So max outside was 60. The low has was 27 and that was on Wednesday at 8, 14 in the morning. Your humidity go through your wind speeds just goes through everything so pretty nice um go back if you want to go back you hit history so what i like about this is that it is standalone at the moment so it is hooked up to Wi-Fi, but that's only if you want this data to go onto your smartphone and device, which we have not done. But otherwise than that, before we hooked it up, it was just going off of Bluetooth transmitting these numbers. Um, you can opt to link this to Weather Underground or um, Weather Server. I can just show you the instructions quickly. So you could link it up to a weather cloud account or you could connect it up to a weather server account. And what that would do, it would basically just use your transmitter as a data point. So it would be sending data to these servers in order to hit their database. So we did not do that. You don't have to do that. Um, for our general purposes, we're just looking to have a accurate weed on the weather where we're at instead of relying on weather apps that could be for the town a couple miles away. Overall, it's really nice to just come downstairs and see what the temperature is outside so you don't have to look on your phone. Overall, I would purchase this again, or I would recommend it to someone. I do have a link in the description for the Amazon page. Um, it is an affiliated link, so check it out. And let me know if you would want this in your house.